Alright, versing a lethal temple Yasuo top in this match, alright? This guy is pretty cooked. If he went the uh, grasp Yasuo, maybe he had a chance, but you know, this guy decided to play you know, really risky and this starts from level 1. And since Yasuo has Ignite and also passive shield, you don't want to trade him level 1. You probably wait for level 3 to go all of him to get a solo kill, which I did later in, I guess, in the video. And yeah, just play safe until level 3. Yasuo oh, catches support him a little bit, do a little bit of damage. But Yasuo here is trying to shove in and probably look for early back to get his, um, get his boost upgrade. But we're not going to let him. As you can see, Yasu is full shoving here, and we we'll just go all out here. And it might look very difficult here to get the solo kill, but I'll show you how I did it. The Yasu here was already overstepping, he has no minions. So I quickly, you know, get 1, 2, 3, use my combos, get the 4th stack. When I, I'm 4th stack, Yasu is in trouble, so I press Ghost, get that extra auto, pull him in for another auto, and then he flashes away. And we dodge the tornado by flashing as well onto him, and then easy solo kill, man. And after level five, solo kill is, I guess, is way easier because Darius just becomes tankier, tankier throughout the game. And then Yasuo here, trying to catch him out, but he dashed away. Don't know where the enemy jungle is. So I was trying to be careful because they could just gank me because my wave is kind of fucked. All right here, the Yasuo goes for a one v one. And bro, you know, he got too confident, and bro just got solo kill. So I'll show you how exactly I did that. So basically, the same thing as before. We called him out, four stacks, pulled to guarantee the five stack. But this time, I hold the dunk and wait for him to throw the tornado first. Because if the Darius times the dunk right, like here, you can dodge tornado and Yasuo can't ult. So you just get clean dunk like this. All right, nice solo kill. And uh, Yasuo here again goes for the 1v1, but this time do I even need no summon the spells because I'm so ahead. But bro ults this time, but doesn't matter. We just do too much damage now. Bro he cannot 1v1 us. And we just get the tower. Nice. And then afterwards, you want to use your lead to help the team, I guess. And here are my teammates. I'll do do again, man. I think my ball ends losing again. So we go for the, you know, we go for the, <laughs> we go for the gank. And then we show, we secure a double kill right here. Oh, Rakan, W Rakan, nice ult, and then we just dunk them down, man. nice. And we get Bop Tower as well, it's a good trade. And then I think Jungle gets, yeah, gets Hero, that's nice. I think we make a nice comeback here. At this point, I'm really fed. If you look at my score, I'm 5-0, so it doesn't really matter what you do, except just go for, go for picks and we're looking around the map, see what opportunities, I guess, to create a lead, like here, yeah, so you got caught again, trying to push Tower and just get dunked. You know, there's not much, not much worth chasing the Yasuo now because he dies so many times. So I guess just look around the map and help your team out, which is what I did right here. And I caught the enemy off guard right here. You know, I went for the flank and catch the Karma off guard. Um, Gragas ulted, but he's chased her down. Nice dunk. Jinx is too fast. We have no flash. So we can combo them. And same here. Catch the, <laughs> the Karma off again and. She just get oh she flat doesn't matter and then see that created engage for the team to you know, get three picks like this and then that can probably help us get objectives but there's nothing out right now so it's just we just backed. Uh, I ran out of things to yap about so I guess just talk about UFC. What are you guys thoughts on UFC 300 man? All I care about is Alex Pereira knocking Jamal Hill out man. Blood got knocked out and bro didn't even connect the full fist onto his face and bro got dazed. Bro saw Drew's throw for that split second when he got knocked out, man. Bro hit the floor. And bro even got emoted on by Alex Pereira, man. Bro got Kabi lamed on, bro. Bro did the fucking signature pose. Trending on Instagram reels like Jibs, man. And here, you know, catch the enemy off guard. Ooh, nice dunk. Karma being a bitch. Flashing away, not letting me have a nice dunk, man. See, oh, that's not even Karma. I'm fucking tripping. That's fucking Shin Zhao. But you know, a Akali gets me using nothing else. Doesn't matter. Team cleans up. And then we respawn, and then we just trying to end the game. Cash Karma out again, <laughs> and this time, yeah, teammate just likes to steal the dunk. You know, too old to this crazy, just to steal the dunk is crazy. And then now we just get Baron, and we can just end from there. Yeah, I was talking about, yeah, Alex Pereira. If you're gonna start sports betting, oh my god, please, bet money on Alex Pereira, man. This guy does not lose, bro. This guy does not lose. And if you want to start sports betting, honestly, 
have to shout someone out, man. This motherfucker, bro. Cube Raisin, bro. Instead of uploading actual YouTube videos, I was trying to fucking start sports betting. So if you want to sports bet, go to Chang's Picks, man. Do your picks off there. I mean, they win most of the time. I guess because bro stopped doing parlays and actually doing like no single bet, so bro's winning more often. So if you want to win some money by sports betting, you can go for Cube Raisin, man. You can ask Chang's Picks. But anywho, we won the game. GG's, all right? Yi Zhang, you young Chinese boy, I cannot believe that you went to Macau, Shanghai, and Beijing on a China trip and did not come to Hong Kong, you fucking degenerate.